In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to modify your boot up applications as well as create custom boot up files such as whenever you turn on your computer, you can load a specific file or folder or application and completely customize it to what you would like. So first, let's look at the default applications that open up inside of Windows 11 whenever you first turn on your computer. The easiest way to get to this is to right click somewhere on your desktop and go to either display settings or personalize. In this new window on the left hand side you're going to see a tab that says apps. Go ahead and select that and then down at the very bottom you're going to see something that says startup. Now this is a list of all of the applications installed on your machine that has options for booting up automatically whenever you turn on your computer. I have already went in and turned off several of these such as Cortana and Microsoft Teams which automatically boot up by default. I have personally went in and turned those off because I do not want those to run as soon as my computer boots up. These are applications that like I said when installed have the option to run on startup. However you can modify this and put in any application you want or any file that you want. For instance, let's say that you always run a specific document as soon as you boot up your computer and you want to save yourself time. You can have your computer automatically run that document every time you turn on your machine. Or you can have your computer automatically go to a specific folder whenever you do turn on the machine. So how do you do that? Well first off, let's go ahead and open up the startup location. Now in all previous versions of Windows before Windows 10, they were in a folder known as the startup folder. And this folder is still present inside of Windows 11. However, it has been tucked away and hidden just like it was in Windows 10. How you get to the startup folder, you need to go down here to the little search bar, type in the search bar percent app data percent and hit enter. You will now be brought to the background data running in Windows 11. We need to select the folder Microsoft, then select the folder Windows, select Start Menu, Programs, and then finally Startup. So you may notice that this is the same kind of structure that was previously in Windows 7 and XP with the start menu. And that is because this is essentially the same start menu. So the startup folder, if you put anything inside this folder, it will automatically run whenever you boot up Windows. So as an example, I am going to go ahead and create a new document right here on the desktop. And I'm going to say it is a text document. I am then going to open it up and I'm going to put in this text document, thank you for booting me up. Save it. And I want this text document to run whenever we first turn on Windows. The easiest way to do this is to create a shortcut of whatever the document is instead of just dragging and dropping it into this folder. If you drag and drop it into this folder, it's going to move it from wherever it is and place it in here. And we don't want to do that. We want to keep the same location the same, but we want to open that file up. So the easiest way to do that is to right click on the document, go down to show more options, select send to, and desktop create shortcut. This will create a shortcut to this document. Basically, it is telling the computer, hey, this is not this document. It is just a link to this document. So when you open this up, it is going to open up the same document. So we want to drag and drop this into the startup folder. And you can do this with folders, you can do this with files, applications, anything that you want, you can create a shortcut to it. Okay, now that we have that in the startup folder, let me go ahead and close this down. I will restart the computer and we'll see if it opens it back up.
And as you can see, we now have the window booted back up and as soon as it booted up, it came up with the text document that says, thank you for booting me up. All right, thank you all very much. I hope that this was helpful. If it was, go ahead, give me a like, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your day. Hi, I'm Kyle, owner and operator of Great Technical. Thank you all so much for making it at this point in the video. And if you are here, go ahead, like, and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot, and it lets me know that the content I'm making is stuff that you all like to see. Go ahead, leave us a comment as well. Let me know if there's anything that you would like to see in the future, or if you have any future updates that you would like to have included in our products in the future. I would also like to say that being a company owner, I am very proud to be able to support businesses and students. I am also extremely proud to be able to support content creators. So if you have a content platform, you make videos, or if you have a blog and you would like to reuse some of our content, or if you would like to review some of our products, go ahead and send me an email. My email is right here, support at greattechnical.com. Get in contact with me. We can see what we can get worked out. And until next time, thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your day.